Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, so today we're going to be making the washing machine. So we're going to start with a cube. I've got all the dimensions, which is the height is 0.85. Obviously find a machine that you like. Um, 0.85 in the height. The width, which is Y, is 0 0.6. And then the depth is 0.565. So this is an LG washing machine that I found. And I thought, you know, that looks quite good. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a material. Okay, and then what we want to do is come over here, change it to um, uh, that one. And then we're going to change that to image. And I'm going to open up. So all you need is the front image of your washing machine. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's all you need. And we well there we go all right so that is the washing machine hopefully it should be on there yes we're all good control a to reset the scale um u oh, u and we want cube projection okay and then <clears throat> what we want to do is UV editor and then we want to scale up I'll select all scale up okay and then smidge more and then G to move it over a bit just so it nicely fits in there like that so the rest of the per the rest of this is going to be cuts, loop cuts, and bevels. Okay, so you may find different ways of doing this, but this is how I've done it. So we're going to just do a loop cut, and then bring that up to the seam line there, and then we're going to do a loop cut here. Let's just see if we can get it as central. GG on the Z, sort of about there, and then Control R, about there. Okay, and now we select this vertice here. Do um, Shift Control B, and then you should have something like that. So we're going to go to the perimeter of that black circle. Now we need to go into bevel. So as you can see here, all we've got here is a square. Um, so let's crank up the segments a bit. That'll do. And then we need the shape. So the shape zero is square. And then obviously the higher the number, it goes back down to pretty much nothing. I mean, you can see stuff there. So we want it to point zero. So you can see there the circle is being formed maybe crank up the segments a bit I'm quite happy with that and what we need to do is create the shape of the doorway there so what we're going to do is we've got everything selected so we can extrude on the X to bring it out so this is the door maybe that's a little bit too much and then we're going to inset like so I'm going to inset it about there and probably just bring it out a little bit and then inset again and then push it back in like so and then we can extrude on the X on the all the way in there 
um, and scale like that. Let me just push it in a bit more. So that's like the doorway. And then on this little lot and this little lot, we're going to control a B to bevel. But we want to bring that back up because we want it to be, we don't want it to be like how it was. And then we do the same up here. So we have got, uh, we need to do a loop or we need to do a knife cut. So K for cut. Okay. And then we can go from, um, oh, I'll tell you what we do. Control R and then we'll put in another loop cut. Control R in here. Okay, and then we can just select that and that. And then we can just extrude inwards, extrude on the X like so not too much but just enough and then here we can do a k so we do a cut we're going to do two cuts so a k i'm going to cut from here to here okay set that GG on the Y. And then we're going to do another cut. K cut here. OK. And then extrude on the X. Like so. So we've got a little bit of shadow in there. Right, the next thing, we're going to select that line. Number two, select that line. GG on the Y put it in the center and then control R make that there GG on the Z just so it's in the center there and then we're going to hit number one again hit that control shift B we'll do the same um, about there we will crank that down to there and then we can extrude okay e on the x and that's your rotary maybe you could do the same on those but to be honest we'll see right we need to put a cut here Okay for cut. So I'm going to do a cut there. Okay, and around about here. And then we're basically cutting this um, handle here. Okay, okay. And all we're going to do on there, hit number three, and just extrude it in um, extrude on the X like so and how are we looking now well it looks pretty pretty damn good so with the other sides the top um, we can just give it a, a plain color okay doesn't need anything fancy just a plain old color so create a new material new color get the little picker select what color within the uh, on the washing machine and then just click make sure you've got all these other bits selected and then we can just assign so then we've got our 
Oh, and that one as well. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that doesn't really matter, but um, we will do it anyway. Okay, and there's our washing machine. As I say, you could, if you wanted to. Let's do it. Um, go to edit. Let's do a knife. Actually, let's go there. So we do a K. About here. And number two, we want G, G, Y. So we're just going to bring that in the center. Let's just grab that one. G, G, Y. Okay, and then we want to do the same here, so we're going to do another cut. Like that. <laughs> okay, select that. Let's go into the face. That's not too bad, but we'll just get it in the center there. GGY. Like so, and then we can do another cut. Um, as we need to get the center. So we'll just go from here. Okay, and then we'll do... What we'll do is we'll put another cut in here. And then we can just K from here to here. Okay, and then we want the vertice select. And then we're just going to create another bevel that we've been doing, like so. Okay. And then the same here. Okay, and then we can just extrude on the X, like so, and maybe just scale on in a bit, select all the edges, and then we'll do another control B, like so. Oh, no, we don't. Control B. And we need to adjust that again. Okay. And then we need to do the same here. So we'll select. All of these. And then do the same. So now we extrude on the well. So now we extrude on the X. Scale on in a bit. Select the perimeter. So we can select all the edges. Like so. Control B. Okay. And we are good to go. So that is our uh, washing machine. Not bad, not bad. Maybe we could actually just bevel the edges there. Let's do a control B. Like, so what's gone wrong there? Oh, that one not there. Control B. Like 
just want to give it a little bit of a bevel okay and we are good so save your washing machine what, we, what I'm going to do is control copy go into our kitchen and control paste oh there we are so we can put this anywhere we like but obviously um, G on the X I'm going to put mine sort of near to the um, where the sink's going to be because we need to put it plug it plumb it in so we could go like there um, we could go there so we can move that out of the way and we could make this one smaller quite a bit smaller and then just chuck that underneath it gives it a little bit of room let's um, edit that number three and bring it on over there and then we can just copy shift D on the Y like so and then just select that and just bring it on back so it ends there obviously we still got to do the cupboards yet and that's our little cheeky little washing machine in let's see what it looks like oh look at that our cheeky little washing machine we just got to plumb it in and off we go <laughs> that is looking good anyway um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you've done well on it um and i hope to see you on the next video so we'll see you next time ta-da for now